Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, November the 14th, 2017, and this is episode 2641. My name is Bruce Turner. Thank you for being a part of Morning Manna today. Today's episode is titled, The Heart of Diamonds. Stay tuned. As I mentioned, I believe, in yesterday's broadcast, I am currently reading through the book of Zechariah, and uh, it's been an interesting time. And this morning, I was reading uh, from chapter 7, and I came across a passage of Scripture that really spoke to me and really convicted me, because it is easy for this to happen, this this uh, situation that I'm going to describe. We all experience it. So let me begin reading in verse 8 of Zechariah chapter 7. And the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Execute true justice, show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Do not oppress the widow, orphan, sojourner, or poor. And let none of you contemplate evil deeds in your hearts against his brother. But they refused to pay attention and turned a stubborn shoulder and stopped their ears so that they would not hear. They made their hearts like a diamond so as not to hear the instruction and words that the Lord of hosts sent by his spirit through the former prophets. And there was great anger from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it happened that as I called, and they would not hear, so they called, and I would not hear, says the Lord of hosts. So I scattered them about among all the nations whom they did not know, So the land was left desolate behind them, with no one coming or going, and they made a desirable land desolate. What caused this? What caused this was they made their hearts hard like a diamond. They made their hearts hard like a diamond. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you know you should be feeling something, but you don't? Similar to how calluses toughen our skin's exterior to physical sensation, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guitar player, so my left hand is just covered with calluses. In the same way, we have the ability to build walls around our hearts that prevents us from being in tune with the emotions that are supposed to lead us towards God and making changes in our lives. It's a devastating mistake. And as in the case of Israel, it had long-term consequences. Proverbs 4.23 says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. So the Bible teaches that the condition of your heart will determine how your life turns out. So if you're a person who's got a lot of unresolved anger, odds are you're going to become an angry person who does angry things and lash out at people. It's a simple concept that unfortunately is missed by many. So let me share with you some of the early warning signs of a hard heart. Do a little, take a trip in, do a little inventory this morning. Number one, you don't really celebrate. You don't really cry. Number two, you stop genuinely caring. Number three, so much of what's supposed to be meaningful feels mechanical. Are you tracking with me now? 
Come on. Number four. Passion is hard to come by for anything. And number five. Boy, this is a good one. You no longer believe the best about people. Hardening your heart like a diamond is not going to help you. You may think it's going to protect you, but it will not. So my prayer today is that God would soften your heart with his word, that you would allow him to come in and guide you through sometimes what may seem like the minefield of your emotions, especially in a difficult situation. Sometimes when you have a hard heart, you don't feel like talking to anybody, but you need to talk to the Lord. You need to talk to others. So what's the condition of your heart today? Is it hard like a diamond? If so, you better fix it. Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much that your word is like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces. Your word can soften our hearts, make us tender, make us real. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website, morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. You can find Morning Manna on Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker. That's my favorite podcasting app. You can find it even on your Alexa machine. Morning Manna is now syndicated to Amazon Alexa. Thanks for listening today. Until tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.